Hello and welcome everybody. This is the Man bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Today we have a 3v3 on, uh, I believe it's uh, New Nebula or something to that effect. Um, new map, so we'll see what that one brings. You can see it's kind of a, a large six player map. Uh, starting off the teams today, starting the bottom team, as the Orange Borg. This here is Spritz. Uh, I've never seen him play, and so uh, welcome to the replay circuit, and I hope to see you again. Over here, his teammate as the Green Borg, uh, Azrael. I uh, have also not seen this player before, so hopefully we will see lots of good things out of this person. And over here in the right-hand corner, as the Red Borg, yes folks, that's three Borgs, is Red Men Mark. And I have seen him play, so I hope to see some good stuff out of him this match. So on the top team, starting off as the Teal Dominion, this is Celestial Silver, and he's sporting this Dominion thing, and his teammate as the Purple Romulans, this is Jinx, another new person, and over here in the blue, rounding out the last but not the least, the Federation Blue Admiral Young, whom I also don't think I've ever seen play. So, lots of new players. Folks, uh, great to see new people on the boards, and uh, we shall see how they do. So we can see here that Admiral Young is doing the normal Fed thing, expecting a chassis level one here anytime soon. Um, or okay, so there it is. There's chassis level one. Um, you might expect uh, perhaps monsoons or intrepids. Intrepids more likely, especially since they're the Borg here. Uh, as soon as they scout everything, they shall see all three Borg. So intrepids do really good because a lot of Borg ships are medium range. ADAI gives you uh, a boost there. Let's see what the Romulans are doing. The Romulans are uh, Griffins. So and there is sensor jammer, so that will be nice. The the good thing about sensor jammer versus Borg is there are fewer targets, but then again the Borg have a really high system value and have a tendency to resist those sort of things. So it's going to be a little bit hit and miss. Down here, the uh, Borg here, Azrael, getting up his first link. Looks like a pretty standard build there. There's first scout cube. You almost wonder if these guys are just going to straight rush Borg cubes and whatnot. They all they all are doing fairly similar builds. Um, we shall see. So let's take a look at what the Dominion are doing, and they are going to go S twos. Uh, S2s are lovely, they're fast, uh, and they tend to pack a pretty decent punch too, so uh, no surprise in seeing that one there. However, I would expect a second yard somewhere um, that would allow him to pump out twice as many, uh, especially around here, his uh, natural expansion. Um, but uh, we shall see. Nope, looks like he's going to go just a normal space refinery. He is relying on the map size to kind of give him a little bit of protection before he puts up a another yard or a large construction yard. The Borg are annoying the uh, constructor, as it is looking to make a rapid expansion. And the blue over here, they are all going heavy ex uh, early expansion. So we're going to have a total difference of styles. Early expand versus early offense. And uh, almost any second now, you can expect another... Whoa, hello! Energy nodes level 2 by Azrael here. This will usually pre um, precedes a early sphere build. Um, oddly enough, he has not put down his scout cube uh, building. I mean, he's got scout cube chassis there, just no, just not building. So.
So any moment now, I expect the Borg to rally and and make a run for it because they are amassing troops and they 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 have a little bit of an upper hand here if they want. Um, if they could rather the troops move in, take out an expansion here, or deny an expansion, that could allow them a at least a toehold in this game, which would be quite nice. <clears throat> that interesting feature of this map is it has this uh, little... Uh, it narrows out there. You can see that the orange, so Spritz, taking his four ships, moving them up, uh, looking to deny this expansion. We'll see how Celestial deals with that. He's got his prototype up and a single S2. <clears throat> and more on the way. And I think here that Spritz has the upper hand if he can get in here and get some kills. This thing is going to provide a way of... <clears throat> a way of uh, allowing things to repair. Now I hear a little phaser fire. <clears throat> and here goes. So here comes that initial uh, attack and this guy is going trying to run immediately into the repair yard. But is it going to make it? The Borg are trying to physics block it. Oh, it's not even trying to repair. <laughs> And they are getting all sorts of good kills here. They are really denying this expansion. It's a very good um, initial uh, initial push by Spritz. Now over here, the um, the other Borg are also doing the same thing here. They are trying to deny the Federation their expansion. Um, these Griffins are hanging out here. That's uh, three versus two, and. They are going to wait for that platform to go up. That constructor is probably going to die. And, oh, nice, nice, nice. It ends up... Uh, and there is... Uh, these Borg are really in a position of, uh, I would call, not a good position. This Romulan, however, is uh, taking a lot of damage there. And it needs to cloak out and run, uh, trying to not lose any ships. If it can do that, it would be a... Now would be a really time to run. Oh, and Redman Mark taking double losses here. Um, that little gambit here by the feds, um, by Admiral Ron Young, did really uh, work in his favor. He even saved his constructor down to half hull. The Borg, on the other hand, over here, making a very successful incursion into the uh, economy of Celestial, as he really hasn't been able to push them off some of his slow-moving ships. He's got another uh, scout cube up here. Good old EM cube. Uh, don't want those pesky Rhymelins running around. And he has really mopped up. So one of the things that I think Celeste should do is bring his... Um, prototype down, not be so um, uh, protective of it, allow it a, a chance to cycle through the repair yard, would um, allow it uh, to push this uh, board push uh, back a little bit faster, uh, not take as much damage, but boy is Spritz all over this Scout Cube and Pro Brush, uh, has done a really fabulous job with it, has just completely is really just um, really putting Celestial Silver in a very, very bad situation, losing a lot of uh, money to lost ships, and that is going to hurt him. He's also managed to, again, neuter the, um, the Dilithium mining. This guy is in trouble. Um, at, at this point, Celestial Silver is in need of... Um, a lot of help managing to get four of his ships together. Um, again, not using that prototype is a little bit, um, I think, a little bit of the wrong move as it could cycle through the repair. 
and these guys, you can see that they're taking a little bit of damage here. Let's take a look at the special, how it stacks up against. Um, it has uh, less resistance against these shorts, so these scout cubes are actually doing a lot, doing more damage to this guy. Um, and the Borg have managed to take down a number of offensive ships. And so it looks like they uh, they have a got that area under control. The Borg on the um, bottom are looking to try to pressure in the middle, but here is a less coordinated attack. Uh, a warp in with some intrepids. It looks like Admiral Young really has this area under wraps, um, not giving this Borg fleet um, really any chance to get a Toho in hold in and um, allowing uh, another star yard by Jinx so that would be two star yards spamming griffins um, I don't get to see that very often so we'll, we shall see how it uh, turns out So again, uh, Spreads moving around, having um, having gotten his toe hold in here, he is really, I would expect him to stay up here and keep the pressure on, but it looks like he is um, feeling a little bit like he needs to go back home, obviously. Um, Oddly enough, I don't. What what is he waiting on? It looks like he's waiting on the sphere. Um, he's expanded. He's got his second uh, dilithium, which would help him get towards that sphere. And here is the fleet that he was uh, probably uh, running away from. And uh, as uh, Admiral Young comes over to support uh, Celestial, Celestial sitting on. <laughs> very very little at the moment does he even have enough to no he doesn't have enough for a miner he at least has some miners at least has three left from that nastiness now what is red man down here doing got a couple scout cubes a couple dodes um, let's see this is the double intercept and this here is a region a region uh, intercept and it, let's see what he ends up doing. This it does not seem to have a lot of forces on the board, um, having lost a number of them earlier. So that's not too unexpected. But we, want, I really want to see what he is going to end up doing. There, his his energy nose level two. He he is looking to move into mid game units. Um, the Borg here uh, taking a jaunt over towards the Dominion's Dilithium Mining and as he has was able to successfully scout that Feds over here still protecting the Romulans expansion now where are the Romulans and here are the Romulans four of them moving in this area and Celestial is very very quick on the draw of trying to move everything away that he can as soon as he sees that um, question is whether he will be able to get um, these guys out of there. This um, Spritz making a heck of a good making a heck of a good run there. I see a warp in coming in trying to help uh, with the Borg incursion here and it looks like Red, uh, Spritz is not wanting to tango with any of this. Now this fleet here if they can gather up everything <coughs> needs to they need if uh, they could cut these guys off they could do a really good job of um, just tearing it down and here comes the feds now the question is do they think that do the Borg think that they have enough and here comes the sensor jammers and uh, a couple of them hit down goes a probe down goes a scout cube here very shortly uh, nice catch behind the top team, catching uh, Spritz's fleet out of position just ever so much, and getting some kills off of that. Again, the name of the game is getting kills. So over here, 
you can see that both the green and the red Borg are moving in, trying to get some kills on the Federation, knowing where that fleet is. Um, have a phaser platform that is not getting tagged, um, and this guy should be upgraded as soon as he has the money, and I don't remember how much that cost. Um, the Borg here getting some kills, getting some minor kills. Uh, here comes the rest of the Borg. So here is a heavy, heavy Borg fleet. And um, what to do, what to do with all of these Borg ships, folks. Um, oh, he finally did get that thing upgraded, but upgraded it way too late. And that ends up being um, a loss of money there. So we have all of the Borg fleet here. And then here is all of the... Uh, here is the remaining forces of the top team. Now they need to... Ah, Admiral Young here, cycling, not getting his ships quite cycled through properly. Going to lose that one to a little bit of Miss Micro. And here comes the Griffins, and here comes the rest of the fleet, and it is on. And down goes a lot of weapons by the Borg, and I hope he has allied repair here because it is going to be a massacre as they are really catching this sh these uh, ships out of... Um, out of their comfort zone. Just Excel going to take it uh, in the nacelles. But um, these guys need to... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know to tell them what they need to do because they seem to be doing a decent job of it. Um, this uh, Dode is actually being able to target this uh, lower defense... Um, E2 all the way. Unfortunately, the uh, ambassador's heavy shielding not playing. Uh, this Fed fleet does need to be careful, though. It is getting a little bit strung out, and as such, it is going to end up taking a little bit of damage. These Rhymelins are also trying to um, sneak up on this. Question is, are they going to? Oh, there's a. Uh, yep. Good old EM Scoops. As um, these Rhymelins need to decloak. Can't take that. Can't. Uh, <laughs> can't do that, folks. Uh, so, Celestial's couple of ships doing. Uh, getting some free shots in. Also, getting some pot shots taken. Um. Now, that top team's advantage is slowly, slowly going, wow, I, the spam need to get this dode, they do totally need to turn around and take the dode, I'd almost take a, sacrifice a ship for it, get the kill, get the kill, and he gets the kill, very nice, very nice, and here's where a little bit of uh, help by the fez, their uh, long range, Provide a little bit of extra shooting. There is no EM Scube, so uh, it looks like these guys are going to end up making it all the way back up in here, and the top team seems to be back in the game. So, a regen DPS uh, adapter. The, the one problem I have with this ship would be that it is a little bit slow. It's uh, great for defense, but it's, again, tad slow. Um, so let's take a stock. Uh, you see another warp in coming, not an, a good pull as well. Uh, an ambassador, an E1, and a good old San Francisco, I believe. And uh, the Romulans are slowly still pulling in the Griffins. Those Griffins coming in handy with that uh, weapons disabling. And here I see my first sphere on the board, not quite building, and there it is. Thank you for uh, making a liar of me. And over here, more dodes, more dodes. Um, energy node level 2 finally going up for Spritz, uh, as he has been able to make great use of his early units. And it looks like he is going to continue uh, his push on these uh, these outposts. 
and that is going to end up being risky because he does not see this entire fleet over here. They should just come over here and burn everything down. Uh, they just don't have the numbers on the Borg side. Um, and man oh man, are they going to want to run as soon as they see all of this. Oh, and um, here comes the Intrepids with their Tricopal Torpedo burning things up. And while this Griffin needs to get microed back, and the Borg are feeling like it is time to go home. Um, a couple of them are going to go the route of uh, <laughs> successfully making it home. The other ones are going to go home via the Little Piggy route. A detector coming by and drawing fire, looking to save a couple of ships by, again, drawing fire. Um, at this point, these uh, medium-ranged vessels here are... Uh, well, they're, they, can get, they are only medium, and therefore they're not as fast as everything, and so these uh, faster-moving intrepids are going to be able to keep up with them. They also, these intrepids are also soaking things up with their ADAI, which is providing a lot of great uh, cover, and there goes this <laughs> wow, sensor jammer and everything just coming to bear immediately on this Borg fleet um, and they are doing a good job of targeting everything that is small first, oh, even an, an adaption thing adapting, uh, but it's going to go down here very shortly as, as these this fleet is doing really well at coordinating, uh, burning things down all the way. Oh, hello, a, um, a good old um, one of those things, you know, holding beam, thank you very much. Um, if, if these ships are, looks like they are trying to make a retreat here, um, need to coordinate one way or the other. I, I this, I think, was a very, very successful run for this Fed and Romulan fleet. As here comes uh, four S2s to add a little bit of firepower into the mix. Uh, and they get a final kill there. Uh, these S2s going to take down something, and they should run next. Uh, the Fed's feeling like they are still in this game, are going to end up taking down an assimilator. Wow, they are really going to get their money's worth out of their phasers and photon torpedoes. Uh, that is almost too bad that that one guy get away as um, they are trying to make a, an odd retreat here. The uh, at, at this point, I, it's questionable whether they're going to actually get a sphere kill. They've got one down to no energy. They could concentrate fire on it. If they, uh, the little bit of a uh, miss micro on everything or miscommunication as they are not concentrating fire on the same stuff. Um, down goes the assimilator. It has a nice little kill there. Uh, it looks like a dode also took it. And, wow, an officer level griffin. And uh, these boys are trying to concentrate on this. Uh, this guy is a nice uh, 2x regen with uh, other mods beam and uh, so that gives it its beam adaption and here comes a couple intrepids and here actually the uh, Borg are need to be attacked Redmond Mark needs to uh, get his sphere out but um, it, he's, he run, he is going to end up but he could lose this sphere uh, these intrepids going to be able to keep up with it um, Sphere Dance, folks. Sphere Dance. Where is a warp in when you need it, right? Um, he is going to go Sphere Dance back the other way. But it looks like the Feds are going to take down the Sphere and Redman Mark out of Sphere. And now it is time to go. <laughs> Admiral Young playing fabulously tonight as um, he, he, they have, he and his teammates have managed to come in and burn some Borg. So now the Borg. What are the Borg doing? Borg, Borg, Borg. There's uh, another sphere on its way here shortly from Redman. Uh, some of these earlier ships from uh, Spretz. And I'm sorry, uh, Azriel. And let's take a look at what uh, Spretz is doing. 
spreads, however, I, is pumping out uh, DPS SMs, and while that's one hand, you know, that's it, it's got positive and minuses. It's uh, it's got these long range, can easily defend the areas. Um, I like to think of them as the uh, queens of um, of the Borg uh, from the SC2 reference there. Uh, they're slow, but they can hit hard-ish, and uh, long range is really good. However, the feds are on the top, uh, putting together a nice little uh, federal fleet and continuing to invest in these uh, intrepids. The... The Borg, however, it... just do not seem to have the presence on the board at the moment. They had such a good early game. Uh, but then Adam Young pulls out of his pocket some great defense on his side to um, keep his teammates in the game. And we can see over here that uh, Celestial is sitting on supply, needing to get his uh, Tritanium back in the game. And... Next. Next, next, next. So, the... These guys going to looks like they are going to want to overtake these out of position assimilators, um, as we are uh, treated to uh, a little bit of lag here. But don't you get to love to see the little pretty uh, animations? As the Fed slowly try to get around here. Uh, a couple of monsoons on the Fed's part would do uh, nicely, as uh, those high density shield generators would soak up some of the damage. However, as it is, these assimilators are cutting straight through into the Intrepids uh, quite nicely. Um, here comes a little bit of extra firepower on the Borg side, and the Borg are going to start cleaning up here as um, as they uh, can kind of manipulate this fed fleet all around uh, this dode uh, taking uh, reduced damage from the intrepids because of uh, intrepids ADAI um, and it trying to run away as it uh, is losing its hull out the wazoo um, the feds here, Admiral Young, was doing great, uh, worthwhile, uh, great team play. However, he his little uh, go it alone thing is going to cost him half of his fleet. Uh, it looks like the San Francisco is going to take a nap in the dirt uh, very shortly. But uh, unless I can get away, uh, and it may be may actually be able to. Um, and here comes the Romulans. And to the rescue. Uh, and we expect the sensor jammer very shortly as the uh, feds turn around and. Um... Oh, hello. I was not expecting an assimilator assimilator. Oh, sensor jammer. Oh, wow. Down goes a couple of. Uh... Oh couple of Borg ships, big Borg ships too, the Feds, the Romans, and the Dominions coming in and able to map up, uh, I'm sorry, mop up this Borg fleet, and there is the GG. Um, wow, what a comeback on the top team side. This is Yannin Man signing off. Uh, thank you for watching, and please leave your comments. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. And that's it, folks. I'll see you on the flip side.